And I always felt as a player, the relationship between yourself or the team and the fans is huge in the local community, etc. Um, so they should be appreciated and we should make sure that even though the game moves on very fast, we still keep um, very clearly in our mind how important the fans are because without them we don't have this great Premier League. And 13 years at Chelsea, when you feel that uh, support and then taking you through good times and bad, um, you should never lose sight of that. I certainly didn't. I had a great relationship with the Chelsea fans from pretty much day one, um, which stayed with me throughout. And um, now I'm officially a Chelsea fan. Um, but you know, it's, you become part of a family of a club. That's how it should be. That's why we are so crazy for our football here. You know, because we all have that kind of tribal thing where you become attached to something. It means so much, and that's kind of what we're celebrating here. I actually was pretty uh, happy to retire. I'd had a 21 years playing. My legs were telling me, my mind sometimes was telling me to, to take a rest. Uh, and I have to say, in terms of being a fan, it's incredibly enjoyable for me to not have the stresses myself of having to you know, play anymore. I was fortunate with a long career, but I can actually go. I can take my daughters to Chelsea uh, and sit and relax. Well, most of the time, relax um, and enjoy a game, which is, you know, when you play, of course, it's probably the... How, we don't, well, I certainly realised how lucky I was to do something I loved um, day in, day out, pretty much. Um, but sometimes it's nice just to sit back and watch someone else do it. I, think that we, I don't think we, we are as excited as we have been, and I mean it in a good way. I think expectations have certainly uh, uh, addressed themselves in the last couple of tournaments. England have no divine right to go and win tournaments. We haven't done for a long time. Um, just because the Premier League is so great, again, it doesn't give you any right to go and win these national tournaments. So it gets harder, seemingly, I think, every tournament that goes. But... Um, we have a young team, we have young players uh, who can hopefully play without fear, that we mention a lot with England, of the pressure. Um, hopefully they can just go and show their talent. And I think with the um, Gareth Southgate, who's been impressive, the way he's blooded these younger players, the style of play, he wants to play attractive football. It's happening from grassroots. I think with the future England teams are going to be improving technically. Um, so I think we might not be ready to go and necessarily win this tournament, but I expect us to make a good showing. And, uh, and these younger players will gain a lot of experience which will help them in the future. It's a responsibility there to do it, everybody's different, not everybody wants to stay in the game and get away and that's obviously your prerogative as a player but I think when you've come through and had a career with your club and with England like Stephen has there and he feels like he can put back and he wants to start on that challenge then great, yeah and I think the FA now are also working closer with the ex-players to try and get them into their coaching badges etc. I think we had some barren years where the help wasn't there and players went away from the game. Now I think they're trying to help players go straight into to get their coaching badges. And there's a wealth of knowledge there, obviously, with players like Stephen Gerrard and the likes who've had successful careers. So let's use that. I'm doing my coaching badges mm -hmm. at the moment. So I'm uh, I've spent a lot of time at Chelsea this year, um, gaining hours of experience. I've managed to get my A license in coaching. So yes, you know, it's the right opportunity, the right timing for me, and I'll certainly take a really close look at it because you know. As you mentioned before, you want to give back or to show if you can try and help develop players, whether you can help them tactically, whether you can be a good man management, all these things, you know, I'd like to try and have a go at. But it's not easy and everybody's different. Um, and, and, and in fact, this is, this is kind of flipped because now if any Stephen Gerrard gets mentioned with a job and everyone goes, oh, well, he's inexperienced. Well, OK, well, he has to gain experience somewhere. Um, and you can't wipe away those 20 years that Stephen Gerrard's been a fantastic player for. He's, he's gained a lot there. So it's not an easy transition. Um, but you know it's it's a great start. You then have to start learning from the other side, and that's what I've found. That, you know, which is great. I've been able to work at Chelsea this year because you make mistakes. You make mistakes with young academy players. It's not so bad, and then maybe the job comes along and you're ready from having learned from your mistakes. But having a career like Stephen Gerrard had is a stellar, stellar career. Is obviously a great footing. Of course, he'll still have more to learn. And, and you do learn. I've learned a lot myself day to day uh, on the training pitch and off it. You know all the things that go on. Now, of course, when you work, go and work with men and work with the first team, and things become a little bit more critical, then that's another step up potentially. But I think it's a great way to cut your teeth. And I think Stephen doing it there has been smart. If the opportunity that job's there for him and he feels just right, then fair play to go for it.